Uh, this is the joystick. Um, I really like these. They have a nice small tip and you can hold a lot of paint in them. Um, for a smaller tip marker, aside from, uh, oh, I don't know what, oh, this one's kind of old, but uh, here's one. Uh, these sort of crink, standard crink markers, this is probably my, probably, actually it's probably better because it's bigger. This one's xylene, it's fucking eating the tip up, but uh, yeah. Cause I, I tend to use uh, xylol in my homemade inks and paints, so fucked up tips, but it, it dries fast. Uh, linseed oil and shit that you shouldn't use is crap. Um, so this is Ghetto Genobo, but thinner than I, uh, with xylene and, oh, it's drippy as fuck. Uh, and uh, I put some Japan dryer in there, which speeds the drying of oil-based paints. Um, use it a lot in canvas painting, but uh, they sell it for like five dollars for a pint. You only are supposed to use like a like a little bit for a whole gallon of paint, so it's good buy if you want your shit to dry for, like on time. So anyway, this is the joystick marker with. Ghetto Genovo in it. It's fucking nice thin stuff, but it the only problem is it's a little bit too thin, so you can't it's hard to write without getting drips. But uh if you like drips, thinning it out that much and it's nice opaque, you know. but what this is what I thinned here was um oil based enamel and it's actually like I got it at a garage sale it was fucking tractor paint so yeah <laughs> tractor paint mixed with uh, white rusto thinned out it, but the, what I'm really reviewing here is I like these joystick markers um, they really hold a lot of paint and you get a nice small nib that's my review of the joystick marker